So in today's Principles into Practice, I would like to help us all look at a couple of simple ways in which we can all begin to sharpen up our professional practice in whatever context that is, whether you're coaching, mentoring, counselling, it um, doesn't matter, all right? Now, there was a Greek philosopher named Pythagoras, all right? I think he was the guy that came up with that mathematical Pythagoras' theorem. Now, he once suggested, do not say a little in many words, but rather say a great deal in only a few. Now, I guess what Pythagoras, is, what Pythagoras was pointing towards here was about making our efforts or our words really count. If you think about it, how many people do you know who will commit to talking and talking and you know, going round and round in circles and saying so much whilst not really saying anything at all? Uh, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I have uh, come to know and love a number of helping practitioners um, and ecologists over the years who are a little bit guilty of this hell. You know what? I used to be a little bit guilty of this as well. And if you don't believe me, just see if you can source some of my earlier courses, all right? One of the main reasons why helping practitioners and ecologists sometimes end up so completely unnecessarily busy in life is because they don't establish or they don't take time to establish what part of what they do gets them the greatest results? Did you catch that? Would you like me to repeat that again? One of the main reasons why helping practitioners and ecologists end up so unnecessarily busy in life is because they don't stop for long enough to become crystal clear and establish the part of what they do that makes the most significant difference to other people. All right, I mean, if I was to ask you right now, what little part of what you do makes the greatest difference? What would you say? Have you even ever considered this before, all right? I didn't really think about this for years. I can remember when I first started out in business and there's a pretty good chance there's gonna be many of you are gonna be able to relate to where I'm at. I was doing my best to master my craft, so I was reading the books, I was studying online courses, I was attending offline courses, I was attending various events, I was doing my best to get as much practice in. For me, I'd uh, pretty much subscribed to every single um, directory going, doing my best just to get some clients. Now today, obviously, we've set up Ecology and we've got the Practice Makes Permanent uh, group, if you've perhaps uh, come from there, you'll know what I'm talking about. For the purpose of helping you get practice, when I first started out, there was nothing like this existed, all right? So I just had to get practice, you know, in the real world from practicing real people, all right? Which was a little bit intimidating to say the least. Now granted, right, we all wanna make a, a difference in some way. No one ever gets into this profession or goes down this path in life in this, unless they do want to make a difference in some way. But if we don't know what part of our difference makes the greatest difference, then we can end up going around in circles for years, being so busy, doing so much and saying so much, not being clear on how it is that we can be at our most effective. You with me? A wise man once said, and I've got no idea who this guy was, all right, maybe you'll know better than me. If your actions inspire other people to step up, take action, and become more. You are indeed a competent ecologist. And that was by unknown. I'm not sure who said that. So today's question is, what part of what you do or what part of how you communicate might other people say makes the greatest difference to them? Now, if you're not sure what the response to this question is, then I'm guessing that you could always go and ask some people, interview some people, or ask some people who you've engaged with recently for a little bit of constructive feedback. But I'm going to leave this discussion now over to you, and I'm going to look forward to hearing your responses.